What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about movies that are going to be released in 2020. Let's get right into this. So for this year, there's quite a few movies that are going to be released and quite a few that have been announced as of right now that I'm really excited for. So since there's so many movies that I'm going to be talking about for this video, let's just get right into it. Up first is going to be Venom 2. I absolutely loved the first Venom movie. Seeing Venom for the first time on the big screen, I felt that what they did with him and how they made him look was very on point. And the story behind him and seeing the backstory and seeing what can happen with Venom moving forward was awesome. Venom 2, the rumor right now is going to be that Apparently Spider-Man might be in the movie, the current Spider-Man, so that's something that interests me to see if that is true. But I'm hoping that they have something like Carnage or something else more relating to Venom himself. I would like to see Spider-Man, but I'd really, really like to see Carnage in the movie and seeing how that plays out. But Venom 2 is definitely something I'm looking forward to this year to see and to see what happens with the whole character and see what happens and how they include him maybe in the MCU as a villain or to somebody that helps out the MCU uh, superheroes. That would be interesting to me. Next up is Bad Boys for Life. Of course, I absolutely loved the Bad Boys movies from back in the day, back whenever I was really young. And once I heard that they were making a new movie, Bad Boys for Life, it is apparently going to be the last movie for Will Smith and Martin Lawrence for the Bad Boys franchise. After this, they're not going to be making any more Bad Boys movies. But I feel like... They're going to pass the torch, and this was their way of passing the torch to other people to continue the Bad Boys series and the Bad Boys franchise just without them. So I think that that's something that they're going to be working out in the future. Will Smith looks amazing in the movie trailers so far, but Martin Lawrence looks like he put on a little bit of weight. I'm not going to lie, but of course, the two of them, the comedic aspect is going to be there. The action is going to be there, and I'm really excited to see what they bring to the table for this movie, Bad Boys for Life. To me, the trailer looks like it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see it on the big screen or just watch the movie in general because I might not have time to see it in the theaters. Next up is gonna be Fast and Furious 9. As you guys know, because I've talked about this on my channel before, I absolutely love the Fast and the Furious series. I am more interested in the early Fast and the Furious movies just because they're more about the street racing and the customization of the cars and the street racing scene than the new movies. The new movies focus more on the flashy cars like Lamborghinis and that, but more so on the action aspect and driving around the world. So they're still interesting. I still love the series. I can't wait to see what happens to Fast and Furious 9, but it seems like they're getting more and more big name actors in the movie. And that's just for me taking away from the story and taking away from the Fast and the Furious brotherhood that all the actors have bonded over because I think Fast and Furious 9 not only is going to include The Rock, which I'm okay with The Rock, but it's now going to include John Cena and maybe a few other big actors. That just makes no sense. Let's just say stay true to the Fast and Furious series and stop bringing in new bigger talents just to continue the series. I feel like they just don't need John Cena and other actors like that. But I'm definitely interested in the movie because I've always watched all of them. Of course, I have all the movies on DVD, so I'm really interested to see how this movie is going to be and add it to my collection. Next up is going to be Doolittle, which I'm extremely excited for, but I just don't know how I feel about it right now. I don't really like how Robert Downey Jr. is taking over the role. I liked the original one because that had more of a comedic aspect to it. Of course, he was a comedian. And to have as many movies as there was for Dr. Doolittle before, just to come and redo the franchise and recast right away with Robert Downey, Robert Downey Jr., to me just didn't make complete sense. Of course, it looks like with the animals they chose for it, with the CGI that they have nowadays and the new technology, they're going to have the animals looking phenomenal and having more of a voice. But I just don't know with Robert, Down Robert Downey Jr. how he's going to play out. If it's going to have the same comedic aspect with him, I would have liked to see them just like they did for Bad Boys, have the original cast and just introduce Robert Downey Jr. as the new Dr. Doolittle in the future remake. But just to recast right away made no sense to me. 
definitely worth check worth checking out for me just because Doolittle was something that was a huge movie whenever I was a kid. So I'm definitely interested to see how this one's going to be. Definitely worth checking out for me. Next up is Marvel's Externals, which I'm a huge fan of the Marvel movies. I love all of everything that's in the MCU. I just don't know too much about the externals, but by watching it, I'm going to learn about the externals. And that's something that I'm really excited to learn about new superheroes and new superpowers and new people within the MCU. Again, I don't know anything about the externals as of right now, but I'm looking forward to the movie just so I can learn more about them. So definitely going to check it out because it's a Marvel movie. I just don't know anything about it as of right now. Next up is going to be Godzilla vs. King Kong. And I remember, I think they did Godzilla vs. King Kong for the Japanese version back in the day. But since Godzilla came over to the North American scene and it's in North American movies now, I don't think I've seen a Godzilla vs. King Kong movie yet. Of course, I'm a huge fan of King Kong's Skull Island and a whole bunch of the other King Kong movies. And Godzilla, I've always been a fan of that. So this movie is something that interests me. It is, some, is something that looks like it's going to be interesting to see, and I can't wait to check it out. Next up is going to be Free Guy. This is a Ryan Reynolds movie. Of course, Ryan Reynolds has the comedic aspect to anything he plays in. But it is a movie about a video game NPC that learns that he can do more than what he's programmed to do, and you see it in live action. So it's something that seems like it's going to be very far-fetched because it's in a video game um, scene like it's in a video game within the movie so it's something that might be hard to follow but it looks like it's going to be awesome of course it's Ryan Reynolds so it's going to have the comedic aspect that I'm looking for in movies and I'm definitely going to be checking it out next is going to be Wonder Woman 2 which I'm going to be checking it out because I like any of the DC superheroes I love Batman I love Joker um, I just don't know too much about Wonder Woman I liked the first movie but any of the DC movies I've watched because of DC, the DC universe is always darker. So I'm expecting Wonder Woman 2 to have that dark aspect for the movie as well, which I'm not a complete fan of, but it is something that I feel like they're gonna do a good job and the story is going to be awesome as well. Next up is gonna be Fantasy Island, which I don't know much about it. I honestly didn't look it up before recording this video, but what I got from the cover is, it looks like all of your dreams are gonna come true on this island but also all of your biggest fears as well. And that's something that I love survival aspects to movies. That's why I love uh, The Island on Netflix. I thought that was a great show. And I love shows that have a, a kind of like a survival on an island aspect. I think that's awesome in shows. So I'm hoping that this has a lot of that aspect too. But some of your biggest fears on this island, that's something that... It's supposed to be a thriller, which I do not like horror movies at all, but it is something that because of the survival aspect, I might be checking out because it seems like it's something I'd like, but I'm just hoping it's not really like a horror-based movie because I do not like horror movies. Next up is going to be Black Widow, which in the Marvel MCU, Black Widow is just one of those characters that I've never really enjoyed. I've never really been a fan of because I've always liked... Captain America, Iron Man, and some of the bigger names, she just didn't have that many powers in my opinion. But for this movie here, since she is currently dead in the MCU because of Avengers Endgame, I feel like this is going to be more of a backstory on her character, and according to the movie trailers, it is a backstory to her character. So you're going to learn more about her by herself instead of within the Avengers movies you're going to learn more about just Black Widow, which is something that interests me and makes me want to watch this movie because I don't know anything about Black Widow. I don't really care about Black Widow because I've never really liked her, but maybe by watching this movie, I'll learn more about her and then maybe I'll actually enjoy her character a little bit more. And the last one on this list for 2020 is The New Mutants, which I honestly thought that Marvel was going to scrap because once Marvel took over for X-Men and the Fantastic Four, I thought Marvel announced that they were going to recast and try to include X-Men and the Fantastic Four in the Marvel MCU in some way. So I felt like this movie here, since this is the one that Fox made and Fox, it was Fox Studios that created it, I felt like Marvel was just going to scrap the movie and recast for their own for the Marvel MCU. 
which is not the case. They're releasing this movie, and it is something that Fox created, but they're releasing it under Marvel. I just don't get why they did that. Makes no sense. If they're going to recast, which I hope they do, because Marvel always recasts whenever they take control of a franchise, like they did for basically everything else they've worked with for the MCU. I just, it makes no sense to me why they're releasing this movie. It is something that I'm going to be checking out because I love the X-Men movies. I love the mutants. I love learning about the different talent all of the mutants have and all the different mutations. So I'm definitely going to be checking it out and seeing what this includes. But if Marvel's going to be recasting them, it doesn't make complete sense why they're going to be releasing this movie. But these are the movies that for 2020, as of right now, I am most excited for. Comment down below which movies you're most excited for this year. I was going to include Birds of Prey, but honestly, the only person that I know in this movie is Harley Quinn. Everybody else I don't know of, so I don't know if it's something that I'm going to check out. But comment down below what you're most interested in for movies this year. And I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.